To put it plainly, as a designer, arched windows are the bane of my existence. They are so difficult to treat properly, and they frequently come with some other constraints like the slope of the ceiling or where they're placed on a wall. So they've come up for me in a couple of projects recently, and I thought I'd share some solutions that we've been looking into. So in an ideal world, you have a nice big arched window and a high ceiling, clear space either side, and you can dress it with just a nice simple rod and drapery down either side that you can pull across for nice privacy. They can be shears, they can be solid, whatever your needs are. The other option, if you don't need full blackout coverage, for instance, in a living room, if you've got a really nice high wall, you can run your curtain rod across the base of the arch, so at the bottom of the semicircle, and then you can do drapery pulling across. Now, I would do this only if that's well above head height, otherwise it's gonna look funny and awkward that you've got a curtain rod below the top of the room. But if you've got nice, generous 10-foot ceilings, who are we kidding? Your life's pretty golden, you'll be fine either way. But the problems that I've been encountering with arched windows usually happen because an arched window is put into a point in the architecture where the roof, the, the roof, the roof is slooping. <laughs> and so they're actually bringing in that curve as the roof comes to a peak on the exterior, which means on the inside, you have a sloped ceiling. So if you take a look at this window, I'm not able to put a curtain rod across, also because I'm drawing with an eraser. I don't have enough space at the height necessary to hang a curtain rod, so it would just end up looking really pinched and tight and not decorative and expansive and lovely, which is what you want with such a nice architectural detail like an arched window. You don't want to dress it in a way that's compromising how nice it is. So there are a few different options for how to treat this. If you don't need full blackout privacy, you can again do a lower hung curtain rod. Again, provided you have the necessary height for that not to look cramped. And then the arch would be exposed. One solution that we've come up with and we've used in a couple of nurseries recently is, for lack of a better term, the swoopy peg solution. You end up mounting hardware around the arch and then you have two drapery panels and you attach them so that they come across the top of the window and cross over each other and then down either side. And when you're ready to draw them across, you just unhook them and they cover the full window. Despite this terrible drawing, it's a really pretty solution. Uh, it is a little decorative and feminine, so I would tend to limit it to nurseries and very softly finished bedrooms. I don't think it's a great look for, say, a living room or a dining room. It's a little too fussy. But my personal favorite solution is to do it with a custom-made Roman blind. So you get the blind cut and installed to cover the upper arch, and this portion is fixed. So the downside is that you're going to always be covering the arch on the interior, and then the Roman blind operates up and down from that point. So you're gonna cover your window slightly, but if you need a little bit more privacy, this is, I think, a really nice solution. It tends to be quite elegant, very tailored and fitted, uh, and you can add some nice details. And you can also do, even say, a rattan Roman on the inside, put a curtain rod across the bottom of the arch and do a nice sheer, which would give you a soft, really layered, casual look. Arched windows are gorgeous, and they add so much architectural interest both outside and inside a house, but they can be a pain to dress. I think we can all agree, though, if this is the biggest problem in your life, you're laughing.